Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's D-Man the Great here, and I am back once more after a small hiatus from the game, and I'm here today to talk about the Memphis Grizzlies, one of your favorite basketball teams. Now, I have encountered a little bit of a difficulty in how the league is going to run these games coming forth as the New Orleans Pelicans are on the run towards the playoffs as well as the Portland Trail Blazers and they will be playing numerous times with the Memphis Grizzlies as well but I remember the video earlier this season that I had made about John Morant having one of the best rookie seasons ever and with John Morant having one of the best rookie seasons ever, or at least in the most recent memory, we're and in his team making the playoffs potentially. That come that comes into a lot of danger right now. Because the Grizzlies have multiple matchups against different teams that they will play inside of the playoffs. Or not in the playoffs, but teams that they have a lot of teams that they play for the playoff spot. Like the Portland Trail Blazers, who are number nine, I believe, in the West right now. So they would be the first out in the playoffs, or the first person to, or the closest team to the playoffs compared to the Grizzlies right now. And they're three games behind them, which would put them in a sharp spot to where they could take over and pass the Grizzlies to make the playoffs. And then you have the Spurs as well, right behind the Pelicans. And you have the Pelicans right behind the Shell Blazers. So, they the, that's, that's the first three matchups. The Grizzlies have to secure, have it to be at least over three wins more, or three wins ahead of the team behind them. So they can attempt to make the playoffs without having to do the play-in. Because that's not what you want if you're the Memphis Grizzlies. If you're the Memphis Grizzlies, you do not want to play uh, you do you don't want to play an extra round in the playoffs because it's like we fought this hard We were have one of the best records in the league right now the one of the best the best record set that like that five That's it best Nine forty win team in the West Right now, so you're looking at oh we're we were a solid team behind every other team this year and we got screwed out of the playoff because there was a emergency in the country and we just missed off missed out on the playoffs which is nuts that's not uh that's not something you want to put that that would ruin John Morant's rookie rookie season and I said that would be one of the best ever if he were to make the playoffs and it's a pretty sharp decline like they'd have to win every like they have the most difficult schedule almost in the league right now. I think they do have the, they had uh, the metrics and stuff, but they play the best team in the league in the Milwaukee Bucks. They play the Celtics, the second, third, or third best team in the East. The second, that's the third best team in the East. And then before that, they play the Raptors, which is the third best team in the East. Then they also play the Jazz and Thunder, who are also solid playoff matchup teams outside of playing the teams that they have coming for their heads so they have a really really tough schedule ahead of them and then the the whole schedule necessarily has been cut has been cut into a little bit because we're looking at the Utah Jazz and Clippers Grizzlies Pelicans Kings Wizards the Pelicans have a all right schedule. They don't have to face any major hitters outside of the Clippers and Kawhi Leonard. So the Pel Pelicans shouldn't have too much of a problem winning a few of the games they have. It's well like the Wizards and Kings. They should be, but the Kings like it's a it's pretty competitive. I'd say it's a pretty competitive team. They have a lot of competitive teams that are coming out to try to make the playoffs. So it's very dangerous for every single team that's in danger of not making the playoffs. So the Grizzlies are in a pretty tough spot. 
they have to win some games they have to win like these are must win games for them like you guys have to at the very least even out like you guys like it's a, they're in a really tough position so it's become you have to have a game ahead of the trailblazers and the trailblazers are your biggest threat necessarily to make the playoffs let's see who looks the trailblazers play a uh, good hat they trailblazers play a lot of heavy hitters going forward because they play uh high, a lot of high seed basketball teams they play the after they play the grizzlies in the first game they play the boston celtics they play the rockets they play the nuggets they play the clippers they play the 76ers like that's a pretty steep schedule to face off against in this end of the season that they're trying to push off here so it's like the trailblazers are in a lot of danger of losing a good number of games they have coming forward and i think that none of the teams in the west really want to play the portland trailblazers in the first round i mean i could understand i could see uh, some some of these teams since the four gap between the seventh seed and the eighth seed is so big that i but like, oh, okay well we could get lebron and the lakers to play the portland trailblazers oh we could get lebron and the lakers to play this team that team the spurs the pelicans the it's like it's so it might be a pick your poison kind of thing but i think a lot of teams were in the west standings right now would want to fight for a good seeding in the playoffs because you don't want to there's certain teams you don't want to play there's certain teams you do and there are certain places you'll want to face off and where you want to end up that you'll end up doing so it's it's a pretty sharp area right here but i'd hate to see john morant's great rookie season ruined due to the politics of the league and then the country having what they would do going through what we all went through destroying this rookie season that may have been one of the greatest we have seen in some time from John Morant because John Morant is an amazing basketball player and he deserves to get the respect he deserves down the line Zion is a star Zion is amazing but John Morant is the real deal and he is the rookie of the year and he's going to be the rookie of the year for a reason now let's see what happens and I thank you guys for watching please like comment and subscribe and I'll catch you guys later